I had to get some fresh bales out here for the cattle. These are like 109 years old. No, I, I picked these as the harvest. The harvest of 1920. <laughs> Don't diss my farming techniques, okay? My cattle are healthy. Except that one's dead, but the rest are healthy. Yeah, that one's not looking too good. Yeah, he's, he's not doing too good. <laughs> no. did rip your pants there. Dad gummit. It's a brand new pair of jeans. This ice is killing our harvest. I need to get a new planter. That's a planter fired that's, up. That's a combine. Hey, the chair's a little messed up today. This is how I've been having to sit in here the conveyor belts that's not oh uh, bro that's not very safe yeah I, i've been doing it this way though i just sit like this because it's give me a starter food Come in. all right just uh fire it up. just watch my legs I'll, i'm gonna fire it up uh where's the the harvest uh the yeah the what <laughs> Today we have the super spike that we're going to be testing on the Ford here. Now this is for round bales. It's road legal. I mean, it's not road legal. And then we're going to transport them 50 mile an hour to the cattle. So you can see here, old uh, Fred there. He, yeah, the one, the one, that one, he's hungry. And that one's hungry. And that one's hungry. You gotta find a rare choice cut round bale or like a medium rare would work. Look at that, the delicious little cattle sushi rolls. He says whatever we can stab, so let's see if we can stab one here. Yeah, she's on there. You can see the spike sticking out. <laughs> Watch this. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're gonna lower all the way down. This is this is better than any skid loader, guys. Look at this. Are we lined up? I think so. Are we lined up pretty good. Oh oh, we're gonna hit it. Oh oh. Look at that. It's so big. So I'm gonna see how fast I can hit this before this bale flies off. She was rolling fast. That was so violent, man. I drive a, a 98 Ranger and you can't use your semen truck to haul round bales. Someone's gonna get mad. I wish I could have that truck. If I had that truck, I wouldn't use it for round bales. I'd use it to take my my cousins to church every day. <laughs> I think, yeah, she's still good. Oh yeah. 
If I had a SEMA truck, you can't do that. You can't take your SEMA truck out in the mud. That's not even what it's made for. Why you build this big useless truck? This is a piece of equipment. That's why it's got hydraulics on it, because it's equipment, not a truck. Hydraulics don't belong on trucks. Don't don't call my truck a pavement princess and then get mad because I'm using it in the mud. Just don't. I'm pretty sure it's separate people though. Like there's a group that calls it a pavement princess that I therefore proved wrong by taking it in the mud. And then there's the group that wants it to stay a pavement princess and never get abused. And then I took it in the mud so I pissed them off. You can't make everyone happy. I, I try to make no one happy is what I try to do, I guess. <laughs> but my goal is to, when I say I'm going to do something, everyone knows I'm going to do it. So I, I hope to keep that reputation. If I said I'm going to do something, you know, if I say something, I mean it. So... Yeah, that was an accident. I didn't mean for that to fall off there, so. Well, it was nice. Oh, wait, we didn't feed the cows. Eh, they can wait. We'll get them next month. One thing that really pisses me off, look at this guy. He bought a brand new Dodge and he's using it to haul firewood. Look, he's, you're gonna scratch your truck. What are you doing? It just, it went right through it, man. Dude, where's the motor? We broke it. I was pulling on it. <laughs> and engaging now. <laughs> we broke him off again. tell you about floor mats uh you didn't want them <laughs> when after we go mudding they'll get a lot of grass and dirt inside of them somehow clogs up the drain holes on here. My wife closed the door and she's like, that's full of water. <laughs> it's full of water until like here, there's like a gallon of water in there. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. That was kind of cool to see it work as an actual piece of farm equipment. The farmer that we got the bales from, he's like, I could actually use this. Like, I was like, yeah, man, you need a, a SEMA truck to do your, your heavy lifting because they've been moving them two mile an hour with a skid steer all day, so. So it looks like the nut on our bottom ball joint here is really loose. You can see, look at the rear wheel compared to the front. Uh, so that camber is out about two inches, um, which I thought at first, I was like, well, it's not too bad, but it's like every day it gets worse and it's on both wheels. Where we, where we broke the diff cover loose when we did the jump, it completely just sprayed all the fluid out. This garbage keeps falling apart on me. Hey, I didn't know you were coming down the road. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs>
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to. It's like way bigger front end. <laughs> it looks kind of. Oh, mm. dude. Yeah, we, oh, we got in there. I don't think good. it's leaking yet, but the fins are all. Oh, we ran this. What is it? We messed up every cooler on the entire truck. Wait. You know those outros, those cool outros where they put their hand to it and it like turns it black? Yeah. We should do that, but like I hit it so hard that it like breaks your face. Like, <laughs> you phone. won't do that. 